Well, hundreds in middle Georgia are unemployed due to COVID-19. And those without jobs say during this COVID-19 pandemic, they are looking for new ways to make money. 41 NBC's Peyton Lewis explores how you can turn a hobby into a successful business. According to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, 37 million people have filed for unemployment since February, including over 1.6 million in Georgia. All the restaurants were ordered by the governor to shut down. So this was right before the craft beer fest, the, the Just Have Beer Festival in Macon. And so now with the festival being canceled, restaurants being closed, uh, my husband's not working uh, as much as he would have. Kim Evans says her company Lily Cups used to sell cupcakes. Evans says Lily Cups is now Lily Crafts, a wreath and home decor business she created to try and make ends meet. So in order to supplement um, and help out with the family, then I decided to uh, bring back Lily Cups, but make it more just Lily Crafts um, and stick with the wreath making, which I'm at a local department store in the flower section getting more right now to do a couple orders that I have on hold. And uh, that's what we're doing to get by, just crafting as much as we can. Unfortunately, right now, though, nobody's working, so nobody has a lot of extra money to spend on home decor. Newtown Macon is an organization dedicated to helping small businesses succeed. But the company says starting a home business can be difficult, especially during this time. Emily Hopkins, the director of Place at Newtown Macon, shares a simple tip on how to be successful. Consumer confidence is definitely a little shaky right now. People are not sure about what the future holds. They're holding on to their money a little bit more than they had been in the past. So the thing that we tell our business owners especially is that you need to be sure you're showing how you can solve a problem for your customer. Hopkins says social media knowledge and tech savviness can be key. The key part of using your social media platform to sell these products is to make it as easy as possible for people to understand how they can actually purchase that item. So you want to make it very, very clear in any kind of post that you're writing of this is the call to action that you can answer. This is how you can purchase this item. In Macon, Peyton Lewis, 41, NBC News. Newtown Macon also encourages startups to create a website if they can to make things easier for the customer.